So you've received the welcome email with your login credentials, I'll show you what to do next on your Android phone or tablet. Open up the email with the login info and have it ready to copy and paste from. Next, you'll need to download the Microsoft Remote Desktop app from the Play Store. Open the store and search for Remote Desktop. Look for the official app from Microsoft that looks like this. Open it after it's been installed. Make sure PC is selected in the bottom left, and then tap on the plus sign in the upper right. Add PC. If this PC detection box shows up, select Add manually. Next, input your new IP address for PC name. You can either type in the entire number or copy it from the email. When copying, make sure there's no extra spaces before or after the number. Next, we need to enter the username and password. Change the user account drop-down to add user account. Username is administrator with a capital A. You can either type this in or copy and paste it from the email. Lastly, do the same for password. The most common error here to look out for is make sure there aren't any extra spaces or characters when copy and pasting. With the credentials entered, select Save, and then Save again in the upper right. Back on this home screen, you should see your server listed. Tap on it to connect for the first time now. If you get this pop-up, select the checkbox for Never Ask Again, and then Connect. You should now be successfully connected to your new Windows server. Drag your finger around the screen to see the mouse move. Next, I'll show you how to change the screen size to make everything larger. Tap on the icon in the center at the top of the screen, and select Disconnect All PC in the bottom right to exit your Windows Server. Click on the three dots next to the IP address to edit the connection settings. I'd like to point out and explain a few of the options here at the bottom. Clipboard is the most useful one, and it allows you to copy text from your phone and paste it directly into the Windows Server. Enabling storage means you'll have access to the files on your phone from inside the Windows Server. Typically, Clipboard is the only one most people leave on. If the screen was too small before, you can make it larger by selecting Customize Display Resolution. Turn it on and select Custom. Leave the resolution drop down as is and move the scaling slider. Try 150% or 200%. Then select Save, Save again, and reconnect to your server. This is now with 200% scaling. If it's too big or too small, go back to display settings and play around with it until you find the scaling percent that is most comfortable for you. One last thing I want to show is the user accounts options. If you're having trouble connecting because the password isn't correct or need to edit the saved password, tap on the three horizontal lines in the upper left and go to user accounts. Here you'll find the saved administrator account and can edit the saved password. If you had an error connecting, double check there's no extra spaces after administrator and try to copy and paste the password again. If you had a problem connecting before, double check the IP address is correct and user account is set to administrator. I'm going to change the display back to default because I prefer a smaller screen to fit more information, but some people may prefer a larger screen so that it's easier to see.
Now let's get back into our Windows Server and go over the basics. Play around with dragging your finger around the screen to move the mouse. Move the mouse over NinjaTrader 8 and double tap anywhere on your screen to open it. There's also an option to change from mouse to touch. However, most people prefer leaving the input as mouse because clicks are much more precise. If the three icons at the top of the screen are in the way, tap and hold on it to make it smaller, and you can drag it to move it out of the way. You can maximize and minimize charts, move charts, and rearrange the screen the way you like it. I'm going to take this moment to rearrange my display. Please play around with your mouse movements and controls. If you wanted to right-click on the chart for the options menu, tap on the screen and hold your finger for two seconds. If you wanted to move the chart up and down, bring up the virtual keyboard and enable the control key. Then you can drag the chart up and down just like you would on your computer. Remember to disable holding down the control key when you're done. To set the chart back to auto, click on the F in the upper right. If you're opening your new server for the first time, you'll need to add your NinjaTrader license key and connections in order to see live data in the charts. If you don't want to manually enter these, you can also create a backup file from your existing NinjaTrader on your computer to copy over all of your charts, indicators, and workspaces. Please take a look at our other videos on how to copy over your NinjaTrader backup file in case you need any help. You essentially have a full Windows computer on your phone. Besides NinjaTrader, you can also install any other programs that you would want to use, such as the full version of Microsoft Excel in order to run macros, Outlook for sending work emails, or any other Windows applications. Let's open up Chrome and download some other programs. The really nice thing about having a Windows Server is that it doesn't depend on your home computer, which can be turned off. The Windows Server never loses internet connection, is always on, and always available to you with your data inside. You can connect from anywhere, using any device, and always have access to your workspace inside with whatever programs you installed. The remote desktop connection works just as well over Wi-Fi as it does using mobile data, and you can even use remote desktop connection with a corporate work computer.
Next, we'll cover in this video is how to create a one-tap shortcut on your home screen to open up your server. On your phone's home screen, open up widgets and scroll down to Microsoft Remote Desktop. Give your new one-tap shortcut a test. You can play around with how easy it is to pull up your Windows computer anytime you need it from your phone. There's also an option to use your server in landscape instead of portrait view. We'll need to disconnect and go into display settings to make the change. Setting the orientation to auto adjust will switch between vertical and horizontal based on the rotation of your phone. Let's give it a try. Feel free to set your server up the way you like it with all of your programs. I'm going to create a shortcut to the Chrome browser in the taskbar. Your server is equipped with a blazing fast 1000 megabytes per second internet connection. Let's run an internet speed test. Congratulations! You should now be all set up for trading on mobile. Thank you for watching, and if you have any trouble following this video, or have any questions at all, please email support at ninjamobiletrader.com.